Hello friends! Welcome to spring at my home. At first, there was a lot of rain. But despite the dreariness, every day there seemed to be a new surprise waiting to be discovered. It's impossible for me to share them all with you, but I'd like to show you some of my favorite discoveries during my first spring here. As soon as the weather warmed up, I took to planting bulbs around my home. I chose tulips, hyacinths, muscari, and daffodils. Little did I know that later on, my dear friends, who visit almost every day, would munch on half of my tulips. Luckily, the tulips planted closest to my house survived and I learned my lesson to keep tulips closer to high traffic areas. I'm still rather new at all of this, so please bear with me when I make mistakes and rejoice with me when things succeed. If you have any tips for planting or questions about anything, let me know in the comments. I'd love to start a conversation about gardening with everybody. I'm quite pleased with how this front garden bed turned out. It's still not as lush as I'd like it to be, but it's a great starting place for next year. I can't wait to show you guys the hydrangeas when they bloom in the summertime. The most striking blooms spring has brought are the cherry and peach blossoms. Oh my gosh, the two together is a treat for the eyes. To my delight, a patch of bluebells appeared right along my driveway. A welcome surprise since I've always wanted to plant bluebells in my garden. found this cute little guy and I think he's really tired so I'm gonna try and give him some sugar water. I can't do this with you. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> I promise you like it. Oh no. Feeling better? Okay. Oh my God, he's just the cutest thing. Now that he's feeling better, I'm gonna let him go right where I found him. There's one spring flower that I must mention. The Trillium ovatum, or wake robin, is a native flower to the PNW. The three white petals emerge at the same time as the robins return, and as time goes by, they deepen to pink and maroon. Notoriously finicky to spread, young plants can take up to three to five years to bloom. Needless to say, I've fallen head over heels for these precious flowers popping up in secret nooks and crannies in the woodland areas.
In the greenhouse, I've been hard at work planting and potting up seeds and bare roots for my vegetable and fruit garden. My bare root strawberries have really taken off. It's always been my cottagecore dream to grow my own sweet strawberries. My tomato seedlings have outgrown their repurposed milk cartons, so today I'm going to transplant them to bigger pots and cells. With the arrival of spring, I feel a surge of energy. Gone are the cold, sad days of winter. With this energy, there also seems to be a never-ending list of things to do. I have so many big plans for my gardens. I will share with you guys soon my plans in more detail. Still, I try to savor every moment. Every new blossom and bud brings me endless amounts of joy. I love gardening because it reminds me that there is something beautiful happening every day, rain or shine. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed this small garden update. See you next time. Bye!